The camera shake is one of my go-to transitions for when I'm working on a project that requires some much needed spice. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Corey from CNUS Media, and today we're gonna to talk about the camera shake transition. And it's one of my favorites because it really adds a, an intensity to your final edit. I wanna show you how to easily create this transition within Premiere Pro with only using one effect. Let's get into it. Right now in my sequence, I have two stationary clips that I'll be applying the camera shake to. First, we need to create an adjustment layer. In your project window, right-click and select Adjustment Layer and click OK. Next, take your adjustment layer and drag it over your clip and determine how long you want this transition to last. Go to your Effects tab and search for Transform and drag it onto the adjustment layer. Select the adjustment layer and go to the Effects tab. At the beginning of your adjustment layer, select the keyframe buttons for the scale and position. And now we're ready to start creating the camera shake transition. Move around two frames and mess with your position. And you'll notice that when you move your clip left or right, you'll see these black bars, which is something that we don't want. To fix that, we're just gonna scale in our clip. So set the scale to around 110 to get rid of those black bars. Now what we're gonna do is just continue going two frames or even one frame and changing the position and scale to create this transition. When you get to the end of the adjustment layer, make sure you reset your last keyframe to default position and default scale of your clip. This is all just personal preference and you can adjust it however you like. Uh, you really are the creator of this effect and whatever you think looks best on your two clips, that's what you should roll with. Right now I'm gonna show you two techniques that'll really take this transition up a notch. Let's add some motion blur. In your effects tab, on your adjustment layer, in the transform settings, go to the shutter angle and change the number to something around 200 to give it enough blur, but still able to see what's going on in your frame. Next, we're just gonna add a really easy RGB split effect just to really add some spice to this transition. In your effects folder, search for channel blur and drag it onto your adjustment layer. Go to the effect in your effect controls and start to dial in the following options to create that RGB split. Make sure you click the repeat edge pixels box for this effect to work properly. And that's it. And now you've created an easy camera shake transition that will really help spice up your final edits. If you learned something new today from today's video, please like, comment, and subscribe as I'll be releasing more videos in the near future. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.